Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the Third, part two, episode number one forty five and one forty eight reactions. All right, so now I'm going to do this a little bit different today. I'm going to first react to one forty eight and then I'm going to react to one forty five because I've heard one forty five is like an really one of the greatest episodes, one forty five and one fifty five, I think. So I'm going to keep that for the end. So 148 I'm going to react first then 145 and uh, that's how uh, you know, we're going to do this. So the previous two episodes that I reacted to um, were like you know the one one of them was kind of related to Jigen where Jigen like meets this one person stone man I think that was his name yeah uh, who he once stood up for a duel so he's back to <laughs> get his revenge duel or something like that and um, by the end of it, it was a like you know really like you know action packed like whole uh, like you know uh, section where Rupan and like you know his crew he they actually go to uh, rob like you know like a, 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 a I think a bank or something I forgot but they go to do their own thing while Jigen was here alone with Stone Man uh, for the duel and by the end of it there was like an amazing sequence of like you know them gunfighting and trying to like you know run away Jigen tried to run away. Uh, from that whole uh, like you know part because the gate was dropping and Lupin had actually taken his gun and actually scattered the whole <laughs> uh, parts to, like you know to different places to lead him back to the gate so that was like an interesting uh, like you know <laughs> part and by the end of it he defeats stone man and gets out but unfortunately the loot that Lupin got from robbing the place is all gone because the gate dropped on the car and it just <laughs> like you know kind of uh made the car into half and the loot was left behind so yeah that was like the thing but at least like you know jigen is fine now and the final episode of the previous uh week was uh the bank one <laughs> that was a hilarious episode where they actually use rufan's uh popularity to boost the you know like the <laughs> popularity of a bank and the, the manager was like, oh, come, loot my bank. And the bank had nothing in it. So, like, that was a really hilarious episode where Rupan really, like, you know, helps the bank to prosper again. And it becomes world famous. And by the end of it, they hold a, an, an annual, like, you know, um, <laughs> bank robbery thing where everyone is just there. Rupan comes to try to rob the bank. And uh, Zenigata is also there ready, to, like, you know, to get Rupan. And the bank also prospers because of the popularity. That was like an amazing, like you know, uh, episode. Like my God, that was hilarious and intelligent as well. Like everyone wins in that, like you know, in that episode. So yeah, that was the two episodes. So let's see what these two episodes brings. First, as I said, I'm going to react to 148. So let's check that out first. Then I'm going to uh, react to 145. So Rupan the Third, Part Two, Episode Number 148, Reaction. So I'll put in the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever user preference, and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. okay so we are almost at the end of our rupan uh three part two reactions this week and i think the next week has two more episodes which are left to react to then i'm going to start season three and going I'm, and i'm going to do it like in a similar manner i'm going to like you know uh like you can like comment in the comment section your recommendations for season three two episodes per person and i'm going to do it in a similar fashion the way i did season two and after season three ends, I'm guessing it'll take like almost two months to like you know, for the reactions for season three reactions. Then we're going to start season four, which I have heard is one of the best seasons. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, wait, who's that? Is that Rufan? Yep. Oh, wait, are they going to duel? No. Whoa! Wait, isn't he going to... I don't think it's a... Wait, what? There's a glass? Oh! Interesting, so that was bulletproof glass. Okay, I was like, what is he doing? He's gonna kill himself! And then, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and that was a sniper rifle. Ooh. Okay. I said... Well... And there you go. Uh, so they're, they're planning to, like, you know, I'm guessing... The target is 555 five, five meters away. Alright, so they're, they have an assassination request or something like that? I don't know. Diamond auction. Okay. Alright. They... <laughs> they... Oh wait, he... That's... Is in disguise? I think that's Rupan in disguise, isn't it? Oh, well, why are you okay? Ah, uh, text from the sky. Okay. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Then how will? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Pretty impressive. Oh my god. Oh! Wait! <laughs> Wait, I knew that was Zupan, but didn't know this was Fujiko. Wow. Okay. Uh, the real ones are here. No, wait. No, no, this is a... Okay, never mind. Like, they have so much security, but... Like, <laughs> like all the time, like the disguise department is very lackluster. Like, you know, like anyone can just get in with the disguise. But there's so much security. Oh, is that, is that? Oh, wait. <laughs> yep. Wow. Great. <laughs> now the security will be even more. They're going to squeeze your cheek before you get in. You know, like they're going to be like, oh, let me see. Is this, is this a disguise or something?
Oh. Damn, so many seagulls. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, 555 meters. You need to, like, you know, take note of the air direction, the humidity, and all the other stuff as well. Calculate and shoot, my god. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Also, he also has a suppressor. Wow. Good job, Jigen. Like this accuracy. <laughs> oh okay do, like oh, okay that's going on <laughs> life is just gone <laughs> Woo, let's go oh that was his Plan. Okay, run, run. Okay. Yep, the elevator is going to open behind you. Uh, yep. Yep. I feel like that was part of that. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, that was the plan. Makes sense. Wow, like he's trying to crack the thing by just shooting at the same place, I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, these... Yo! <laughs> no. Oh wait, is he like... Oh no. Oh! Oh! Yeah, it's falling down. My god, look at that. So I'm guessing they're cracking the glass so that they could jump out or something. I don't know. Whoa! Oh, yep. There you go. True. So what do we do here? Like... <laughs> okay! Yeah, so one or two more bullets we need. Oh, Ruban! Oh no, oh no! Wait, what's he going to do now? Okay. Ah. Uh.
Nice. Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> oh no, it's going back down. Okay. I'm sure it'll be empty, but he's either on top. Yeah, she's probably on top. Oh no. That okay. <laughs> yeah, he's on top. Oh, oh no. And the police won't know. They are like they will be waiting for uh, Zenigata to come. Nice. There you go. Oh. What? Oh no. Oh! Oh, that was what they were trying to do. Okay, now he's going to climb the thing. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh no, they oh they're going to and <laughs> they'll be <laughs> Oh no, they're not believing him. Wait, what is that? What is that? It's making a smoke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, nani? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fogged so they, they cannot see what's happening all right so i'm guessing he's going to zip line out or something that's what he's going to do Nice. Ooh, let's go. Ah, that's a hard one. <laughs> oh. They're ready with tanks. What? What is this GTA? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh no. Okay, I thought he was going to zip line out or something. So, no, the, he cannot do that that because the hole is pretty small. All right, so he's going to bust him out from here. Mm, makes sense. <laughs> All right. Like... Oh, oh, you're mistaken. Uh... 
Oh no! Oh no! The electricity! Okay, this is a problem. Ah, wait, we, we had a hole underneath. So, can't he just climb down? What the hell? <laughs> Wait, is this Fujiko's doing? No, no, maybe not, maybe not. I thought it was Fujiko's doing. Ah, oh, look at him. <laughs> yeah. So what do we do? Like there was a hole underneath. Where did the hole go? Couldn't he just... Okay. Wait, there you go. There's a hole. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh my God. Okay. When the hell did he jump? Oh, this is a imagination okay this is the hair and the tortoise story wow <laughs> great you'll wake up and you'll see like he's gone My god, everyone's sleeping. What the hell? They've even oh my they were drinking as well. What? You guys. Well there are a few people keeping an eye out, but still. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, this is a rough one. He's on top of the elevator, so okay. 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 Oh my god, wait, what's he going to do now? Like, <coughs> oh my god. Okay, that probably lessened the force, you know? That plank and the, the rock. Oh! <laughs> Zen God is gonna wake up. Wait, they didn't wake up? They're dad drunk? There you go. Man? <laughs> well. Oh my god. <laughs> He's going to come here and maybe, maybe Rupan wrote a little bit of a parting words as a note or something. Let's see. Wait, 
What about Fujiko? Yeah, even though she was at the beginning, you remembered her. Okay, well, what the hell? That was unnecessary. <laughs> okay, sad. So we'll have to include her. Ah. Uh. Don't leave it to him, he's going to... Wait, what? Wait, what? What's happening? This is not how it usually goes? This is not how it usually goes? <laughs> what happened today? Did the... <laughs> All right, I was not expecting that. I was thinking Fujiko. Okay, that's the end. I thought Fujiko's <laughs> going to get everything for herself again, and you know, Rupan will again be left with nothing. But well, it turns out that this time it actually was the opposite. <laughs> okay, so this episode. Oh, boy, this was a very interesting episode. It was like a, a like you know a genuine like you know robbery with a lot of things going on. You know, most of the times, you know, they're doing these robbery episodes, there's a lot of like, you know, like most of these things are kind of like a, played as a joke. But this time I felt this was like a like an actual serious robbery where they were like, you know, made like strategies and stuff. They were like planning everything and then they uh, do their thing and genuine strategy and planning and a lot of like, you know, life and death situations were involved in this. And yeah, this was this was a really like, you know, engaging uh, episode with so many things happening. Unlike, you know, us the usual <laughs> like, you know, comedic robberies that happen where they like, you know, like do some goofy stuff. And uh, <laughs> but this was serious. This was a serious one. So this episode, um, first of all, when uh, going, uh, Jigen was shooting the bulletproof glass, I thought they were like you know, they had like a contract or something you know like to kill someone but then yeah I kind of remember like yeah then I don't think they ever take contracts like this they're, they're like you know they're um, robbers or th thieves not like you know hitmen so yeah so the, their actual thing was they're going to uh, shoot the glass unless and until it breaks that was their plan and that's why and Goemon and Rupan was practicing the thing with the, the the other glass, the other bulletproof glass, which was a lot less stronger than the original one. So, okay, at the beginning when we see uh, Zenigata and that lady, uh, you know, like Zenigata putting the little mark on the glass, I, I realized that was Rupan, but I really did not realize that the lady with him was uh, Fujiko. So that was like a real surprise when at first, <laughs> I guess um, Rupan probably told Fujiko, like I'm guessing Fujiko probably had information, you know, about the whole thing. And uh, Rupan asked her to uh, give him a little tool. So Fujiko put on the disguise and she was like, yeah, come with me. And they put Zenigata and that lady, <laughs> like you know, tied them up, put them into that, that box. And they went up and Fujiko was like, you know, giving him a little tour. He was like, oh yeah, look, like at, at, on the day of the day, uh, uh, on the day of the auction, the, the floor will be electrified. The, the ceiling will be as well. And like, you know, the bulletproof glass, this and that, all of these will be there. And she was showing everything to Rupan. And using that opportunity, Rupan put in the little, um, the, the, the mark. You know where you go uh, Jigen is going to shoot and uh, yeah okay so excuse me now you know what would have been even better I feel like they could have kind of tweaked this portion a little bit because you know the mark was extremely apparent like I'm sure like you know after like you know like we see after that they go down with, from the lift 
and the like, you know, Fujiko shows her identity and I'm like oh my god that's Fujiko and then they go outside and they were like oh this box here there's some valuable things be sure to open it and then they leave and when they open the box we see uh, the actual Zenigata and that lady and that's the time when they realized that yeah they tricked us and Rupan and Fujiko were just laughing away going you know on their car back to their base so that's when they realized that yeah they kind of messed up they tricked them so i'm sure the next step after that for the police would be to go up and kind of like you know see what they did you know like find out if they put something there or maybe maybe some kind of trick they pulled over there so that uh, it's easy for them to rob the place so i'm sure pretty sure they did that they probably scanned the place so that that uh, mark was so apparent uh, I would have hoped they find it, found it, and they would have taken it off, but they did not. So you know what would have been a better, uh, what can I say, a little bit of a um, interesting thing they could have done here? Like the mark would not be like an ordinary mark. It would be some kind of, a, I don't know, fluorescent mark, which would be uh, invisible in the daylight. And in the nighttime, it will kind of glow. So during the daytime they would come and put that fluorescent mark on on the uh, glass it would not be visible by normal eye people would come and like when the police officers will come and try to find what's there in the place they wouldn't be able to find that mark and then when nighttime comes and when uh, they're going to uh, like, you know start the operation of shooting the glass that's the time when the fluorescent mark will kind of glow a little bit and Goemon, uh, sorry, Jigen would be able to see it from a distance. Like that would have been a better, uh, you know, thing they could have done there. Because I'm pretty sure the mark was so visible that anyone could have found that out if they went and searched that place after that uh, time. So that would have been a better alteration, I feel like. Anyways, but <laughs> yeah. So. <clears throat> All right. So now. Or maybe you know oh no okay no 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 that's not possible i was thinking maybe the the mark that they put was visible from the outside and not visible from the inside something like that so who knows anyways i'm i'm, I'm kind of fussing a bit too much about the mark <laughs> okay so night time kind of falls uh going on uh jigen is ready with his sniper rifle and they have started the operation the operation was made like you know it was a really planned good planned one um uh, uh, Jigen, he started shooting the same place over and over again without even missing the mark, and that was impressive, you know. Like even like you know, keeping an eye out on the uh, trajectory of the bullet within all the different like you know conditions, the the wind, the humidity, this and that. They like you know he kept an eye on the mark and just shot it multiple times, and uh, the 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 rifle was I think suppressed. With a silencer that's why there was no noise and okay so <laughs> they were doing that while <laughs> zenigata is like oh rupan won't be able to get in uh, this star like so this lift this uh, elevator is the only way up he was laughing and everything <laughs> goemon comes in and he kind of just throws the thing the knife i think the elevator goes down <laughs> Zenigata doesn't realize that at first they were going to follow Goemon but then Zenigata was like nope wait maybe that's a trap he was just like you know <laughs> putting his weight on the elevator door just falls in inside the elevator and <laughs> that was kind of funny you know when he says like okay like <laughs> put, like you know just move I think he said move the elevator up or down I think up I think yeah yeah he said move the elevator up and he gets stuck his head gets stuck <laughs> okay so the actual plan here was rupan's actual plan here was to use goemon as a distraction and they would you know like the lift would come down uh, and zenigata would press the up button again and rupan would already be on the like you know the rope that the elevator had and when the thing will go up he will automatically kind of go up as well Something like that was his plan, I'm guessing. And that's what he did. He stuck to the elevator and when, so that when it goes up, he would be able to go up alongside it. 
and like you know there's a lot of things that uh, like, you know where the, he was doing first of all they he kind of made the whole place foggy a little bit so that it isn't uh, possible to see what's happening from the outside and now zenigata was almost going to like you know catch uh uh, Jigen shooting uh, on from on from the height because the rifle shells were falling down, <laughs> but he did not see him later on. At first he was like, "What's happening?" and then the the thing falls into his mouth and he just starts screaming. <laughs> and yeah, okay, so now th this is happening. Lupin goes up. Lupin is like you know in in that uh, in the upper on the top floor. And he sees that the place is electrocuted and everything. So <clears throat> Jigen at the same time is able to penetrate the glass. And Zenigata. <laughs> oh my god, like these Zenigata presses the button, the elevator comes down, Rupan is stuck in it. So I'm, I was pretty sure he would be up, you know, up on the roof of the elevator. So like these things, like <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Zenigata should know all of these tricks by now. You know, like when he opens the elevator, he's like, oh, Rupan is not here. And he just gets in and decides to go up without even checking if Rupan is on top of the roof of the elevator or down, you know, hanging onto the elevator. Like he should have done that, but he did not do that. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. I'm pretty sure Rupan probably used these same tricks a lot before as well but he he he's, he became a little bit careless i'm guessing so rupan just you know kind of gives him a little jump scare he's like oh pops don't stand there and the place was cut you know he just fell down oh my god and yeah rupan goes up again so <laughs> that was an interesting like you know way to bide more time because zenigata said that don't come up or don't like you know uh, make the elevator come down unless and until I come down. And Zenigata is down, knocked out, while Rupan has the time, like you know, has ample time now to do his own thing, because everyone will think that Zenigata is actually up. So the 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 glass breaks kind of a little bit, and he uses a bullet, to, like a sticky bullet, I think, to make a little ropeway. And that was their plan, I'm guessing. I, I thought they were going to break the glass and like, you know, he was going to zip line out. But then I realized that was like a bulletproof glass and they wouldn't be able to completely shatter it. It's impossible. So like, you know, to, to make that little hole, he had to shoot so many times. So that's impossible. The zip line uh, plan wouldn't be possible here. So that was just for the ropeway. And for the ropeway, he, like, you know, Rupan used that and started grabbing all the diamonds without putting his feet on the ground. So, okay, now Zenigata comes up. He's like, Rupan is on top, like, you know, quickly, uh, <laughs> like, you know, bring the elevator down. Now Goemon has started his own job. He started cutting the hole in the elevator thing. And that was a good plan, you know, like he was going to come down and going to come like you know bust out of that elevator thing uh, midway where goemon would cut the hole unfortunately the electricity department is like nope we are doing our uh, scheduled maintenance and they just cut off the electricity for a moment there the like you know when zenigata called the electricity department I thought that was Fujiko. I was like, wait a minute, is this Fujiko's plan? He's, she's going to you know, cut off the electricity and then uh, like, you know, somehow going to like, you know, trick Rupan to get the uh, diamonds again and run away with it? Is that her plan? Is this her plan or something like that? I thought. It turns out it was a normal like, you know, scheduled maintenance. It was nothing. Fujiko was not involved in this. <laughs> and Zenigata comes up with a plan. He's like, okay, you know, we're going to wait. Now, I don't know why he decided to wait there. Like, I really don't know. Because they had time now. You know, they, they could have just, I don't know, like, do something, I guess. Like, try to find out some other way to go up and get Rupan out of there and arrest him. But I don't know why Zenigata was like, all right, we have time. Let's go to sleep after drinking. 
and like what why like what would they even do like if even if after it becomes a morning what would they do you know like they they would just like you know like like wait for lupan to like i don't know what their plan was there what zenigata's plan was there so it's really weird that he decided to just sleep he was like yeah let's go to sleep like <laughs> what anyways that kind of helped us out um rupan was like all right like i have a plan so this plan i feel like this was an interesting one he decides to cut the rope so that the elevator just falls down crashing and what he did i think was goemon prepared a plank with a rock here the rock is extremely heavy you know and the plank that's why the plank is like you know kind of like this the elevator would fall on the plank and i'm guessing because the rock is there you know the plank wouldn't like would kind of like you know put a little resistance and a pressure on the elevator and the elevator's uh velocity and momentum would decrease a little bit because it falls on the plank and the plank has a huge rock on the other side so that would kind of slow down the elevator a little bit i guess which would give rupan the chance to jump properly and you know goemon is going to grab him i think that was the plan like otherwise i don't see the the reason why they put the plank over there that was that was there probably to kind of uh, put a resistance and stop the elevator even for a few seconds like you know like just slow it down a little bit and since the plank was a wooden one it just broke unfortunately if it was that was like a steel pl plank it would have probably been able to stop the elevator completely since it was a wooden one you know like it just broke but still it was able to kind of slow it down i'm guessing which rupan took advantage of and just jumped and uh, goemon grabbed him and uh, yeah they were able to get out of the, that place the elevator comes crashing down zenigata like what's happening what what happened <laughs> he just climbs it up and he realizes that yeah rupan is gone so that's where it ends i guess happy ending unfortunately fujiko is here to bust their whole party off up <laughs> at first i thought he was she was going to like you know like try to grab everything for herself but you know what i, I like you know i kind of thought like if she actually like a civilized human being comes down and she's like you know what i i want my share um i guess you could have given her some like you know her her part of the share but she comes and starts shooting the place up and i guess she was going to come down for her share later on but like you know like rupan was like you know what let's just ditch her and <laughs> no um uh, goemon goemon was like okay i'm not like you know doing anything with this like i don't like you know i'm i'm, I'm very tired i'm not getting in this mess Go jigen is like me neither my hand is hurting i'm going everything's on you rupan and rupan is like you know what this time you know like <laughs> we won't give you anything and he just leaves <laughs> like now okay here's the thing um <laughs> i feel like like even though fujiko barely did anything she at least like you know kind of gave them a little tour at the beginning so i guess he he she deserved a little bit but then i start thinking about all those other times you know when fujiko just betrayed rupan and just took everything for herself and then i'm like you know what nah she deserved this and yeah <laughs> rupan just leaves and <laughs> fujiko gets nothing in this episode that was that was an interesting like you know um twist i guess you can say like the reverse happened here fujiko doesn't get anything well they get everything so that was interesting Wow, this is a really good episode. Nice. So, okay, that was um episode one forty five. Uh, no, one forty eight. Let me check. Yeah, that was one episode one forty eight. So now I'm going to react to one forty five. As I said, I think this ep like you know uh, a lot of people told me this episode is one of the best episodes. So I just uh, saved it for the end. So uh, let's check this out then. Uh, episode number one forty five of Rupan the Third part two reaction so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go
and i think i think this episode and episode 155 uh is directed by miyazaki i think as far as i know so yeah Hmm. <clears throat> oh, the sound effects. Oh, we did we have the sound effects? I can't remember. No, I don't think we had the sound effects before. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that looks nice. Ah. <laughs> Oh, she called them here? What the... Oh my god. <laughs> They're just eating all the meat. Ah! Okay, Goemon is going to eat everything. While you're fighting. Wow! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my! Okay, well, guys, you need to move. Huh. Oh my god! <laughs> A pipe drip! A pipe bomb, I think that's what you call them? What is happening? Yo! <laughs> I feel like the character models are a little bit different. What the hell is that? My god. Okay, they captured her someone else finds out damn wings of death albatross Okay, what is that? <gasps> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and this is a detonator. Oh my god. Yeah. Ah. Go without this. Aircraft museum. Okay. Oh, Zenigata's here. 
Which air cup? Wow, he's he's here as well. Interesting. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the cat mode is a little bit different. Oh my god, this guy hides any other. Oh no, he did not call him. Uh, Zenigata came him here himself. There you go, it's an aircraft museum, so obviously there'll be aircrafts. Oh, that's the Albatross. Where have I heard that name before? Albatross. I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Wow, this place is really nice. Look at this place. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh! Wait, is this Rupan? Is this Rupan in disguise? I feel like that. Nice. Ah. <laughs> no, that's probably a fake one. Yeah. There you go. Obviously, he won't bring that here. It's Fujiko, isn't it? Yep, there you go. Ah! Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow oh no is this the real Zenigata yep <laughs> real one came at last oh <laughs> he called him here <laughs> oh no run 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 <laughs> yo Oh my god, what the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. Selling the bombs, okay, that's what they're doing. Oh my god. My god. Oh great, this guy is so happy. Wow. Wow, okay, well, yeah, great. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. All right, wow, he's still keeping it there. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> okay. Nice. 
That's probably I don't know, like it's it, maybe it's a fake Fujiko. Dup, there you go. Um, I'm 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 pretty sure that detonator was also a fake one. Let's see. Oh wait, is that the real one? Yeah, like it's a detonator. Like what? Okay, he didn't realize that. Oh uh, yeah, right. What? Yeah, that's why you were... What? Yeah. You know what? I, I think like Rukon probably did something to a detonator. Let's see. Or maybe it's the real one. Thank God Goemon is not here. He can do something now. Ah! Perfect. Wow. There's too much. Give them a break. The hat. Oh my God. <laughs> Return the hat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Run! Okay, this. <laughs> Yo! Okay, come on. Nice! Run! Go, Lupa. <laughs> well, Zenigata did that to himself, you know. Okay, oh boy. Wait, this one, wouldn't that, okay, I think it's. <laughs> Rufa, <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Where two idiots? Oh no, it's it's going up. Oh no. Damn, Rupan can jump pretty high. Uh Yeah, we need another airplane, you know? That would be a better idea. Uh there's a lot of airplanes here, so Okay, um... Oh my god! Alright. I hope this works. Oh no! Quick, quick, quick! Uh, yeah. Thank god, like... <laughs> cars can fly. Oh no, but he can jump! Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on tight. Alright, you know Zenigata? See it for yourself now. Great.
What the? I thought that was my bed. Okay. <laughs> this is insanely got that sick. All right, Zenigata, you'll see now what's happening. And as soon as they start shooting, you'll be able to understand. Obviously! Yeah. Now you know. Okay. Oh, these are like homing missiles. Oh my god. Ugh. God damn. Like, can't Jigen shoot them mid? <laughs> uh. Ooh. There you go. I, I was just saying, like, you can just shoot them. Oh, he did not have his gun. Oh my god, this is... Yo, yo, yo! Uh. Uh. Okay. Who the hell is this? <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow, that's okay. Okay. I really love the art style of this, um, this episode. It's a lot different than the other. <laughs> wow. So yeah, Fujiko just saved everyone, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, he's taking a nap, you know. Wait, okay. <laughs> Why? Why should... Oh, there's bombs here. Oh, no. There's bombs in the... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god. Another pipe bomb. Uh, you're gonna blow the whole... Are you stupid? This, this, this plane contains bombs. Oh, okay, never <laughs> What? There you go. Yeah, you could have just... Oh no. Oh no. The whole thing's going to fall down now. Oh yeah, she can just do that. Wow. <laughs> What? Oh, this a... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Break it or something? Ooh! Okay, there you go. There goes all the engines. 
Ah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! What now? We're stuck in here with nothing. Yeah, where will you run? This is in the middle of the sky. Oh, they have parachutes, I guess. Oh yeah, makes sense. Yeah, they have jumped. No, but there's no engine. Okay. <laughs> the race will wait. What the hell? Okay. Oh boy. Ah! The stuff are falling from the sky. Damn, these guys are strong. He's still here. Yeah, you're gonna die then. He's taking them with him, this stupid guy. He's gonna jump with that. <laughs> oh no. No, that's the... <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, at least uh, it's going up again. And we have a water body. <laughs> Wait, what the... Oh, wait, she took the plants. <laughs> no, okay, there you go. I don't need to get into those, like, you know, stuff. Like, you know, like, like, just rob banks, that's okay. Like, no need to go into, like, bombs and stuff. Like, and that's the end. Wow, okay, that was a fantastic episode. My god. Okay, that was really good. So. Like, I think, like, I think the, the art style was a little different, wasn't it? Yeah, like, there was, and I, I think I, I kind of enjoyed this art style a lot more, because I don't know why, but the characters looked a lot, I feel like the characters looked a lot more younger, you know, like, yeah, I, I, I feel like this is like a more like a Ghibli movie art style, kind of, I think, you know, the, 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 diff the different characters kind of look like that. So that was interesting. Okay, so this episode, a lot of things happens from the beginning. The first thing that happens is now you know what? It does make sense if you think about it. Like Fujiko actually, like you know, I guess infiltrated their base to get the detonator and the plants. I'm guessing. So that's why in the end we see she had that like you know like plan in like you know plan kind of kept like you know hidden in her hair. So like since that was like her original plan to get to steal that and I'm guessing she was going to uh, you know sell that to some high bidder or something and they cannot get money from like like that so it doesn't make sense in the end like you know since she had that because that was her plan from the beginning she just got involved in this mess completely so first of all um, I don't know why Fujiko called them here uh, it, it was probably because she thought that they were going to like, you know, like she was going to steal the detonator or something and they were going to plan and sell it to someone or something like that. I guess that was her plan or was she expecting uh, to like, you know, for, from, from being like, you know, to be chased. And that's why they called Rupan and the group uh, to that, like, you know, to that hideout. 
so that if something happens they could cover her either of it so anyways she, she she basically called them and they were here they were like oh like we are already here and fujiko's not uh, arrived still and they start eating stuff <laughs> oh my god and suddenly bam like everything just like they were just like you know having like a nice little uh like you know feast <laughs> jigen and rupan was just fighting for the meat while goemon was eating all the meat <laughs> using that as an opportunity what a nice little like you know like you know little um <laughs> section we have you know a peaceful setting and suddenly the gunshots and fujiko just comes jumping in just jumps out the window and probably during that time she put the detonator in the food and runs away and there's like gunshots here and there this the whole feast is completely destroyed and the place is destroyed and just like it's a mess completely <laughs> and <clears throat> rupan you know actually finds the detonator in his food after that so yeah i'm guessing that was fujiko's plan she probably just called them here because she knew that she was somehow going to get caught or something's going to happen so she wanted them to be there to either help her out or to you know put the detonator in their hands so that even if she gets captured the detonator doesn't fall uh, fall in uh, those people's hands so that's what she wanted i'm guessing that's why she called them here <clears throat> now we see the main guy here okay wait a minute albatross what where have i heard that before i've heard that name somewhere let me check albatross oh oh my god <laughs> albatross is a name of a bird i'm like where have i heard that yeah there you go i'm like albatross that seems kind of familiar yeah albatross is the name of a seabird okay <laughs> okay makes sense all right so rupan and the crew they find out that it's an actual detonator and these are detonators for nuclear you know bombs and these people are making them probably to sell them and you know like earn monies and stuff like that probably uh that's their plan <clears throat> and then they kind of figure out where they're doing this they are doing this in the museum in the aircraft museum and now okay so Zenigata comes and I at first I thought okay so wait so did this guy call Zenigata and then when Zenigata was talking about how you know Rupan is going to come here and I'm like okay so he came here on his own and then like you know they go up and <laughs> here Zenigata says like okay so maybe this nuclear bomb here as well and then I realized like ah that's Rupan that's not Zenigata and that is the reason why he was peeking through the window, you know, like because Zenigata's in Zenigata's mind, everything's Rupan, Rupan, and Rupan. So he probably wouldn't peek through the window when they're going up the stairs, you know. So him actually peeking through the window and trying to scout the whole place out was also kind of a giveaway. Now that I think about it, that that was Rupan because he came here in a disguise to check this place out see if fujiko is here somewhere and see if he can drag the bomb where the bombs are and um and that's why he kind of you know just like interesting way he kind of brings that up he's like okay so maybe there's like you know nuclear bombs here as well and he shows his identity and he all already had like obviously he knew like they wouldn't be able to do anything to him because the detonator is with them so they sh they would not be able to like, you know kill him or do something to him otherwise the detonators uh where it is will be lost forever so that's why he was so confident i'm guessing he just like you know showed his identity and he's like yeah i have everything this detonator here this is a false one <laughs> when he broke that one <laughs> the guy he kind of was extremely surprised he just like you know like, like he brings out the detonator he's like uh, the guy's like you so you brought it here he breaks it and <laughs> the guy just is startled he, then rupan is like oh that's a fake one <laughs> <laughs> and 
And the guy shows uh, him, like, you know, Fujiko there. And <laughs> Fujiko just throws the ashtray at him. <laughs> and <laughs> Rupan is like, ah, I don't want her. She's always, like, you know, nasty. It always tries to, like, you know, mess things up. And yeah. So I love this section after that, where actually this guy kind of tricks Lupin. He's like, oh, the actual Zenigata is here. And just throws the trap door, whatever it is, the, the, the chair falls down and Rupan just falls in front of the police car. And that was kind of funny, you know, like he, <laughs> that was unexpected. And oh my God, Zenigata is like, a, I don't know what, what I should call him. He's like a rabid dog. Like he's just chasing him, like, you know, just grabbing him. And like, and he even like jumps in the water, tries to grab him through his, like an insane, like, what the hell? I'm like, I'm <laughs> and like in some way Lupin is able to get out of that situation. And yeah, now we see the bonds here. He is so happy. He was like, oh, I'm going to use all of these to get money. And I'm going to like, you know, marry you, Fujiko. You're going to be my, what did he say? First wife. So yeah, she, he has plans of mm, like marrying multiple people. That means there you go. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, like this would be so good. And he's just so happy, you know, like just, yeah. Now <laughs> the next part. I thought he, like, you know, Rupan would have, like, you know, a little bit of a trick with the detonator. He would not give the detonator away so easily. But, but I guess that was the original detonator that he gave. So, now, I, I was pretty sure that she would, he would not give Fujiko away that easily. Because, obviously, like, he said something about, like, you know, um, making Fujiko his wife or something. So, there was Zenigata in this, guys. Now, here's the thing. Like, but I guess they kind of like, you know, I was like, what the hell Zenigata? You can see like, he's like, you know, like taking the detonator and this is Fujiko you're disguising as all of these things. So can't you understand that something is wrong here? But then I guess like, you know, like he had his excuses. The guy said that this is like a spark plug or something like that. And um, Zenigata was like, oh, I had a like, you know, conversation with Fujiko. She was angry because uh no she was not angry. look what did she say she she broke up with you or something like that he said and that's why she was crying or something so he was like yeah it's impossible for those two like you know this being a detonator and fujiko being involved in this so i guess he had his excuses ready and obviously since like you know rupan probably lied a lot of times before as well <laughs> to trick zenigata he's not trusting him at all He's probably thinking, ah, this is Lupin's again, one of those tricks to get out of this situation. So now one thing that Zenigata did here, I feel like uh, that was kind of like, you know, an improvement. He actually tries to, uh, you know, like take everything away from Lupin because he's like, yeah, he probably has some tricks up his sleeves. So let's just search him and like, you know, like, you know, just grab everything on him. And oh my God, that was hilarious. He, he starts tugging at his like you know leg and we see that it was a false leg <laughs> like and the way he does it he's just like it, it seems as if he knew that there would be something there he just starts tugging the leg the leg comes out and he doesn't even like you know is act surprised he's just like oh like this is yeah this is normal just puts the leg and starts shaking it so then there's stuff hidden inside the leg like it's as if everything's so normal he just he knew this would be something like that <laughs> and that was kind of hilarious seeing him like, you know, with a straight face doing all of that, you know, like just doing those things. And oh my God, then he kind of makes a mistake. He, <laughs> he tears the wig off and Rupan is like, ah, oh, don't tell me I didn't warn you. And just the whole thing blows up. <laughs> Rupan is going on, not going on, sorry, Zenigata, oh, not Zenigata, oh my God, Jigen runs out of there and like the teamwork here, look at it, like, you know, like both of them had their hands and legs, you know, just handcuffed and they are like running, like, you know, like what, what do you call them? The three leg ra race, you know, that in the cultural festivals you have in schools and uh, the three leg race where you have to kind of, um, you know, like just like do a, like a really do a good, good job of teamwork and alternatively 
um, put your legs alongside your friend's legs so that you don't trip. It reminded me of that. They were like so in sync. Just like, you know, <laughs> Jigen, just jumping and hopping around, running fast like the wind, even in that situation. <laughs> Oh my god. And Goemon was there ready. Goemon just slashes off the handcuffs. He's like, go Rupan. <laughs> As always, cool. As a cucumber. And uh, yeah, Goemon stops Zenigata from following them. Now the Albatross has started moving. So Rupan and Jigen goes there and tries to get in but unfortunately it's impossible like because it's you know like it has started taking off they go back grab a plane and okay here's where like you know like the whole thing happens Zenigata jumps on top of the plane and <laughs> for a moment he kind of settled down because he knew if he struggles now he's going to fall so he's like all right you know what let me wait and like you know get in the plane like a nice, like, you know, person and not struggle because Rupan is the only one who can probably fly this. And if I try to arrest him now, we all are going to crash and we're going to die. So he just settled down, you know, just he just grabbed to the plane and just calmed down a little bit. While this guy and, uh, like, you know, like in the albatross, Fujiko is there. And he's like, all right, Rupan is coming. Let's me just take care of him first and then we'll see. And oh my god, they start, like, you know, they bring out the rocket launchers, the homing missiles, and the machine guns and everything starts shooting at them. And Zenigata's like, wait a minute, isn't this a passenger airplane? And, <laughs> okay, like, at least he realized that, yeah, this is an actual, actual crime, like a really big one. And, yeah, they should definitely be stopped. And... Nice, like I have to say, Rupan uh, uh, flies the plane pretty well. He, he just starts maneuvering like this and that. <laughs> and just, just dodges all the missiles. And impressive work, he even dodges the homing missiles. Now, I was thinking, why is Goemon not shooting? And then I realized he doesn't have anything to shoot. That, that scene was hilarious. He just grabs Zenigata's gun, starts shooting the missiles, and then sees, like, you know, like the, 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 the gone, the ammo's gone. He just drops the thing, and he's like, Ugh, give me, give me another magazine. And Zenigata's like, what the hell, I don't have any other magazine. He just is like, all right, then just grab, like, you know, gives the gun back to him, and just starts relaxing. <laughs> like, his job is done. Nothing else he can do. And, uh, like, wait a minute, Zenigata keeps one magazine only? He doesn't have any spares? Like, what the hell? He should at least keep one or two of them. Like, only one magazine? I don't know. I don't know what, what to feel about that. But, anyways. But you know what? I, I guess, I guess, like, you know, the, um, probably because this is Japan, I think. That's why I'm guessing even the police officers have, like, a limited supply or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Because as far as I know, like Japan has like, you know, a lot of restrictions in, in these type of things. You know, the like guns and ammo and stuff. I'm not sure. But yeah, probably because of that. And since he's a police officer and he has to maintain the rules and laws. So anyways. Okay, now. Then like, you know, like I was really impressed by Fujiko's performance this episode. Like she just went like, like completely crazy first of all as always we I, like you know this, this trick she kind of used this before as well i think in one of those movies as far as i can remember or something like that where she was yeah it was a movie i think which one was it like I, was it the 3d movie or so no 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 not the 3d movie but one of those movies where she was like you know uh, being uh, held her hand was handcuffed and she was kind of tied and she like you know kind of called two guards to herself and she was like oh can you please tighten this or like you know can you please loosen this like, like i cannot do this like you know kind of in a very like you know <laughs> seducing manner and the guards come in and that's when she kind of whacks them through using her legs and turns the whole thing around she kind of does that here as well <laughs> and 
Like, you know, this time as well, like, you know, he calls the guards. The guards were pretty pissed here because obviously they're under attack. It, it, they try to come towards her, but she just whacks him with her leg, shoots the chain, grabs the tablecloth, uh, and just, oh my god, this, this part was amazing. She just starts running and just, you know, <laughs> it starts, what do you call them? Knee? Yeah, using her knees to just knock out the different pe people like even uses like you know her uh karate i think or something like that like her martial arts skills to just knock everyone out she uses the bazooka yeah and just throws it towards the other person on the other side and that was impressive that was really impressive that whole section and i feel like fujiko probably just saved everyone this episode um but I guess she was the reason why everything started. So still, still, she, she did a lot in this episode. And then she starts shooting the machine gun. Rupan is like, all right, we have a, like, you know, we, we can now go there and land, try to get Fujiko out. But oh boy, this guy is not giving up. He starts shooting Fujiko when Fujiko tries to get out and throws a pipe bomb at her. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? Like, you, you're, you're, airplane is filled with bombs and you're throwing bombs at them like you're throwing bombs at a bomb filled airplane are you mad or something and oh god but he does say that the the explosion has been reduced but still like what but anyways she he's <laughs> this part was amazing <laughs> at least he throws the bomb and you know what i really forgot for a second there that yeah you could actually grab the pipe bomb and throw it back to them I actually forgot about that like this is the thing you know whenever like you know, a grenade comes usually people get so scared and so startled that like everything starts stop working they either try to run away from it or like you know go into cover but like you know like if you actually keep your cool and you you can actually calculate the time when they put out pull out pulled out the pin you can actually calculate that yeah you have enough time to grab it and throw it back as well like I, f I feel like this is like this was like a thing in one of those video games like in probably call of duty or something where you can actually like you know when the grenade comes in you can actually grab the grenade and throw it back towards the enemy <laughs> and i actually forgot that you can actually do that so that took me by surprise when fujiko just popped up and threw it back towards them <laughs> it just blew up in their faces and always as he said like the 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 intensity was reduced, so they did not die. Otherwise, they would have died there. Um, <clears throat> so one of the engines just goes out, and now this guy is mad. He's like, you know what? Like enough is enough. I'm going to throw all of my pipe bombs at her. And he just brings out a big one. <laughs> He's like, okay, you won't be able to, like, you know, survive this. And Fujiko just pops up and starts shooting the bomb. And I'm like, yeah, that works as well. Even you know. The bombs just scatter down, starts falling down, just blows up in the midway. The whole, like, you know, wing of the airplane is just gone, I guess, kind of. <laughs> and yeah, using this as an opportunity, Rupan goes in, destroys all the other engines as well. And uh, yeah, like the whole sh airplane is going down and the guy is like, all right, jump everyone, run away, do whatever you want. We're getting out of this. And <laughs> Rupan and all of them land. They like, you know, rescue Fujiko. And then they're like, all right, we need to do something to this airplane. Otherwise, it's going to crash and the whole thing is going to blow up. So like, it's kind of nice to see that they actually, you know, like they could have easily used a parachute and jumped away. But they actually tried to steer the airplane away because they knew that if we jump away from here, the plane is going to crash and it's going to blow and completely make a mess out of everything. A lot of people will die. A lot of things are going to happen. That's why they decided to not jump out, but merely just try to like, you know, steer the plane towards a safe place. Like that was nice. And this really makes me realize that, yeah, this is, I think this is a Miyazaki episode, isn't it? Let me check. Uh, I think so like okay it'll take a long time to check never mind let me know let me know I think like you know like as someone told me this was a Miyazaki episode this one and episode 155 and this really showed this is a Miyazaki episode because no people were harmed in this no one 
<laughs> Unlike typical Lupin, where he, like, you know, most of the times he usually doesn't care if something happens like that. But anyways, um, and Fujiko was nice here as well. This, this also shows, this is a Miyazaki episode. Fujiko was nice, you know, not betraying him or doing something. But I guess what could she even do in this situation? She herself was in a pinch. <laughs> okay, so they start dropping all the heavy things and oh boy, uh, while doing that, they find out that the guy is actually trying to take all the bombs and jump using a parachute. Um, I would call him a fool because he's actually trying to parachute out of that place carrying bombs. If, if someone decided to shoot him, he would just blow up in the mid-air and just die. But I guess he was that greedy for money. So he was like, yup, I'm not leaving my children here. His children being the bombs. So... He jumps out, Zinnat grabs onto him. <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. And yeah, like, they, they, I guess they arrest him after that. And Rupan and you know, the crew are able to steer the plane away from danger. Fujiko is happy. And oh boy, Rupan grabs something in Fujiko's hair and there's the plans. And you know what? I'm actually glad that... Um, like, like, here's the thing, like, Fujiko's main target was getting the plants and either the detonator or the bombs, something like that, and sell them for money. So it was a similar thing that the other guy planned. So they, they were basically trying to do the same thing, I guess, you know, like, Fujiko was going to sell the detonator for money and the plants for money. And this guy was also going to do that. So in the end, uh, you know, like, Rupan taking that plan away and just tearing it off was a better thing because as I said, you know, like it's nice to see them like, you know, like rob banks and stuff like that's okay because they are thieves, you know, but when they start getting into these type of dangerous situation, which actually, um, you know, like involves nuclear bombs and stuff, I don't think like they should tr try to get into these things at all. Like, like, like here, look at this episode, like so many things happen. I, either of them could have died. Like, not only either of them, but a lot of people could have also died as well. So it was like, no, it was a wise decision for Lupin to actually just tear it off. And he's like, nope, we are not getting into this, this thing. We are happy with robbing banks. We are not going to go into like these type of military or these type of like, you know, like dangerous things. Robbing banks, it's okay. Not this. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> robbing banks is not okay, you know, I'm, I'm just telling for Lupin. <laughs> For Rupan, robbing banks is okay, but not into these type of things. Like these are actually involve life, like you know, human life. So no, definitely not these. So yeah, and I guess Fujiko was a little bit kind of annoyed, but she was by the end of it, she was like, all right, fine, you know, like yeah. And there you go, there it ends. Fantastic episode. Wow, like a lot of things, and like this episode really impressed. Like you know, Fujiko really impressed me. This episode, like she. <laughs> <laughs> like usually like you know she kind of gets into these type of like you kind know, of sticky situations and just gets involved and Rupan always goes have to go and save her so we kind of forget that she's also a very talented like you know fighter like you know she's, she's like an amazing character as well like in in one of those movies like Fujiko Mine's life we actually see how skilled she is you know like in manipulation in fighting in assassination in hand-to-hand -hand like so many things she can do but most of the episodes i feel like her talents are never being shown you know in most of the other episodes so seeing fujiko do something cool is really like you know, I, I really like that like I, I really love seeing her actually contribute something to the whole episode not just be a damsel in distress because she's not like that you know fujiko is definitely not a character like that so I would love if other episodes, like, you know, in, in most of the episodes, either Jigen kind of shines, Lupin always shines in every episode, um, Goemon shines in some episodes, but Fujiko shining in some episode is very less. So it was really good to see her do so many things in this episode. I'm glad, like, you know, this happens. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was my reaction to Lupin the Third, part two, episode number 148 and 145. So yeah, and if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. All right, so next week is the final, like, you know, like final reaction that I'll do of part two. So next week, I'm going to do uh, 
the final two episodes which have been recommended to me 153 and 155 and i think 155 is also another miyazaki episode which i'm going to you know react to at the end like 153 i'll do then i'll do 155 so next week and that will be the end of my part two reactions i'm going to talk about uh like you know like the whole thing like what i'm going to do in part three i'm going to do it in a similar manner you guys will recommend me two episodes and i'm going to react to them and you know there'll be an upper limit to the how many episodes you can re recommend me and i'll do it in a similar fashion after that ends we're going to start season four so yeah i'll talk about it in the, the next episode like you know, we'll talk about it there so anyways next week 153 and 155 so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day